Hi friends, this is Firefighter Lori. I would love to share another one of my favorite fire safety books with you today. One of my favorite things about books is that we can use our imagination to go to places that we physically can't go to because they're too far away or maybe it's just not the right time. One of my favorite things to do when I was little was to visit a fire station. And so while we're staying safe and staying at home, I thought it would be fun to use our imaginations to take a ride along with Corduroy as he visits a fire station. And maybe we can use our imaginations to also think about what it would be like to go to a fire station ourselves. Let's listen to the story. Corduroy goes to the fire station. by B.G. Hennessy. Pictures by Lisa McHugh. This book also has lift flaps, so let's check those out as we read along. Today, Corduroy's class was visiting the fire station. The hook and ladder truck is parked outside. The ladders help the firefighters rescue people on roofs or up in high buildings. The hook pulls down burning ceilings so the water from the hoses can reach the fire. Let's see what's in all of the compartments of the fire truck. We see a Dalmatian, a fire dog, sitting in the front seat. And in these compartments are ladders for firefighters to climb. All right, I think that's all of the compartments in that picture. The pumper and rescue trucks are in the garage. The pumper truck pumps water and carries the hoses. The hoses are very heavy when they are filled with water, so the firefighters have to be very strong. The rescue truck is filled with medical equipment that the firefighters might need if someone is hurt. Let's look at these compartments. And here, are some tools to cut open cars if there's a car accident. In this compartment is some medical equipment. And look, there's a long extension cord so firefighters can use their tools on scene. If we lift up the hose, there's that fire dog hiding in the back seat. And all the way back here, is another compartment that holds blocks that firefighters use to hold cars steady if there is a car accident. And then back here is another one of those extension cords. Fireman Jack leads the class upstairs to the kitchen bunk room and exercise room. Mmm, today a fireman is making spaghetti. See, there's the fireman making spaghetti. Let's see if we can look in the pot. There's the spaghetti. It looks tasty. And inside the oven, they're baking some bread. If we look at the door, there's the class coming up to visit. And if we look in these doors, we can see a firefighter exercising in the exercise room. And if we lift up the flab, there's that fire dog hiding underneath the couch. Fireman Jack tells the class never to play with fire or matches. If their clothes ever do catch on fire, he tells them, don't run, stop, drop, and roll. That will help put out the flames. The class practices. Good rolling, Corduroy. See the class practicing? Let's look behind the doors. There's the fire dog waiting in the fire station. If we lift up the poster, on this one it says, crawl under smoke where the air is clearer. There's another poster underneath that reminds us to have a meeting place outside your home. If we lift up the shades, we can see a flag and a fire hydrant outside. And here we can read, stop, drop, and roll. Do you like to practice stop, drop, and roll? 
he shows them the special clothes firefighters wear. Everything is very heavy. It has to be to protect the firefighter from the fire, heat, and smoke. The firefighters keep their clothes downstairs near the fire trucks, ready to go. Everybody in the class gets a junior fireman's helmet. If we look in the front seat of the fire truck, there's the fire dog ready to go. And as we go along, we see Corduroy's classmates in all of the firefighter gear. And here's one whose helmet has fallen over his head. That's very silly. Here we see a firefighter in all of his gear with boots, pants, jacket, gloves, and helmet. He's even wearing a special eye mask, but if we lift up the hood, we see it's just our firefighter friend underneath, even if he looks different wearing a mask. Downstairs, the firefighters are checking the trucks. They test the lights and sirens. Cover your ears, corduroy. The class helps clean the headlights. Then the firefighters have a surprise. Here we can look at the flap to see all of the things they have to check on the fire truck. Here in the front seat, one of Corduroy's friends is sitting in the fire truck. Have you been inside a fire truck? Here we see a toolbox with lots of tools. And underneath this blanket is the fire dog hiding again. Corduroy's class is going to ride a fire truck in a parade. You'd make a good firefighter, Corduroy. Here we can see a neighbor behind the flag. And if we lift this up, we can see one of Corduroy's friends sitting inside the fire truck. And behind each of these flags are more friends watching the parade. There's the fire dog. The end.